also gonna say welcome back to the podcast. He only got 30 minutes. Okay, what's up? My name is Lo. I'm Shy. I'm Cam. And welcome to Next Topic Podcast, where the only rule is to stay on topic and no topic is off limits. Um, the topic of the day is... So the topic of these next few episodes <laughs> is a year in review. And today, we're going to be discussing music. Yes. So basically, we're going to talk about music, what has happened in 2020, our favorite songs, our artists, and you know, just how these entertainers have been doing this past year. Sure. But first and foremost, welcome back, y'all! Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's been a good little minute. We've been on a hiatus. For real. For real. So, you know, I hope everyone has stayed safe. Yes. During this Healthy. time. Absolutely. <laughs> happy. Yeah, Healthy. so you- Healthy, happy. Hungry. <laughs> you should be hungry. <laughs> happy holidays, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving was just passed. Yes. So, turkey, turkey, gobble, gobble. But back to the music. So, what have been your favorite songs of this year? So, like, think about it a little bit. There has been, you know, some good songs produced during quarantine. And some bad ones. Well, that's, yes, any other time of year as well. <laughs> So, what have been some of you guys' favorite songs mm. this year? Like, what do you listen to now? See, I don't do well with, like, stuff like this because <laughs> I listen to a lot of old music. I do not keep up with what the kids are listening to. The kids? Well, the old people still make songs. Like to have, oh. Well, I listen to oldies. So, you don't listen to no... Nine you don't know the body, 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 I know it. I'm not saying I want to know it, though. But you do. Ooh. I just have no choice but to hear it. That's true. Because of the TikToks and the... Not the TikToks. Oh, so you're on TikTok? No, it's on Instagram. It is. But speaking of body yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Because I have gained a body yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Quarantine. But we can say Megan has had a good year. A great year. year. Yeah. Other Uh than... But she's had a great year. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so she had, what, some good... Right, a good hit. She had the one with Cardi B. Wop. That was a big hit. W- was it? Yes. Hit? We didn't say how good the song was. No, okay. I'm not. I'm not like. Yeah, it was a big hit. Like it okay. was on all the TikToks and whatever. Mm-hmm. She's had a couple of songs. Savage that they remix. Dances off of. Yes. Yeah, and that's you get when a dance, it, your song kind of made. It, yes. You know what I'm all her songs. All her. Do we think Megan makes songs for TikTok? I don't think she does. I just think they end up there because they're catchy. Yeah. And you can make dances or routines off of what she says. Yes, I agree. I disagree. I think at this point... Did she make some solely for TikTok? I think she knows, like, especially with Body Adi and, like, the dances that she do, like, the simplicity behind them and, like, that good A count, I think is specifically, like... I think she'd be like, oh, this would be good on TikTok. Like, let's relist this one as a single, mm-hmm. but it can carry itself. Okay, yes. I can see that as far as, like, oh, like, we should release this one out of all the other songs mm-hmm. on the album. Yes, I can see that. And, like, for Body Adi, or Body, I don't know. God. <laughs> I want to call it Body Adi. Right. She had the choreographer, you know, yeah. do that little segment so people can recreate it. it it's blah, very blah, blah. TikTok-ish. It is. It is. It was, like, the whole situation. Oh, it is. Uh-huh. But I wouldn't say, like, Savage... Remix that wasn't like or Savage was made for TikTok. I no, think like, it was like there was some girls who did the mm-hmm. dance first, and then there was just it right. took off. Even like with WAP, I don't think she thought about like TikTok. But I think with Body Yadi, I think she thought about. I, I can agree with that TikTok. So we could say Megan had a good year. Another person who I don't listen to as much that people say had a good year is like Lil Baby. Lil Baby, right? Oh yeah, I don't listen to him. Sure. But yeah, people love, love his Baby. music yeah. and his album and he, everything else. He killed it this year. Yeah. He did he? yeah, like I don't. He killed it. Okay. What what's we'll all these? <laughs> like, yeah, a bunch of songs. Shit, his like he put out one like just for the movement of what's been going on and shit like that. The bigger picture and the visual for that, the song for that, like it was crazy. And it just showed his range as far as like what he could do. Shit, we paid everybody whistling off of we paid. Uh, which one? Which one? More whistling? I, I was going to do it, but I can't, like, keep the tune of the whistle. Oh. Uh, but, like, it starts off with a whistle. Uh-huh. Um, what do I be at? 
I, me I too. He I'm dropped the whole you. album this year. And it was really yeah, good. I, I heard. heard. And I Not heard the album. Really good. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, emotionally scarred. That shit was fire. We just watched a video for that the other day. Yes. Where he was feeding the goat or whatever. Yeah, I didn't understand. Yeah, I didn't get it either. It was a nice, but it was a nice set. Um, but yeah, no, nah, he killed it this year for oh, okay. sure. Mm-hmm. Good for him. I and mean, I'm not I'd technically a little it. baby fan either. Right, cause I heard people like he's one of the top rappers mm. like of the year. Yes, that's what people have been saying. And like when the war shows come around, like, yeah. oh, he got snubbed and this and that. Did he get a Grammy nomination? I don't remember. I don't know. I don't know. I don't watch the Grammys. No, no, they just released the nominations recently. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he did not get a nomination. Oh. He was one of the people that said, well, snub like him, The Weeknd. Some other folks. Yeah. Um, the weekend had a good year. Blinding Locks is like, probably will people say one of the best songs of the year. I, I never it. heard it. You ever hear Blinding Locks? Or maybe no. I've heard it, but I don't, I can't. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> I'm sorry to that man. Yeah. Yes. I heard it a couple times. It's not like my cup of tea. Yeah. I think, I like the old weekend stuff a little bit I'm better. I'm not a fan of the weekend. I'm not either. It's like, weird to me. I'm not going to say that. Okay. I'm just gonna say I'm not weird. a fan of the. Weekend. He is weird. Have you not seen him? So like on the album cover, I think right for this most recent one, he's like beat up, but like blood. Okay, and, I did see and that. so he's yeah. like shown up places to like accept that. awards. Yeah, I've seen that. And on red carpets, all beat up. I'm like, well, I get it. It's, why he beat up? I don't know. I don't know why he's beat up. I don't know why he want to show up everywhere with that costume on. It's I just find it. Not the weird. costume. It is a costume. I mean, you have I mean, to go through makeup to get that shit done. Oh, okay. I mean, he's got like packing in his nose. He's got bruising around his. It's yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um. People also say Doja Cat had a good year. Stop it. I'm so I over guess. her. Why are you over Doja? I think she did have a good year because like she's been on a lot of award shows performing. Her songs have charted. Whatever. Her Instagram. Not my cover out team. Of pocket. In terms L-I-5. of, she'd be a lot farting and shit. And like that's oh, real you... relatable, right? And it's a weird time. Not the big nasty wet farts. Oh, uh. you got a big booty too. Like you could just hear the. Si- <laughs> Do she have a big booty? <laughs> Do she? Oh. oh, should be Doja ass, not Doja cat. Oh, not Doja tiger. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, but I think she nasty. did have a good year, although she had that whole canceled Doja Cat mm-hmm. episode. Yes, I remember. Did she not survived work. it, it just fine. Because mm-hmm. um, Say So was a big song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Say So remix. Her visuals be tight, though. I'll give her that. I think she's actually a good rapper, too. I don't listen to I her. I guess. Now. I don't know. So. I don't, yeah, I don't really listen to her. I've heard a couple things. I'm like, okay, yeah, it's catchy. And I, I get why people like it, but mm-hmm. it's just not my Cup jam. Of no, yeah. she's weird. She is. She's very weird. I mean, I've seen some things, yeah, that were... She's in terms of like her visuals and her rapping style and her in general oh right? yes she's, she's just, you have reiterated that multiple times <laughs> she's but she ain't exactly your cup of tea not as I, I wouldn't even drink tea if she was tea like, no. oh Ooh. doge <laughs> sorry for that <laughs> <laughs> but also um Roddy Rich had a good year he did yeah. have a didn't good the year. box come out this year yes yep. uh, that's yeah, like a did. beautiful that was song. another one people were doing all kind of remakes like singing it classically and like playing a violin yeah people that was a big he did hit. rock star with the baby the baby yes. that was fire too you know the baby is continuing his streak of being a top rap artist yes yeah. however come a butt it's all over y'all faces one note the same same and i used to like be for him like hell no he tight he about to be he about to show nope he showed me that i was wrong but one thing i have noticed is like he's like that crossover is happening now. He's featured on a lot of like songs with yeah. pop artists mm-hmm. and stuff, you know. He has been. Which for him, that's great. It could be your lane, just a feature artist. Well, most artists do well when they featured. I'm like, you only got to write one verse instead of like a, a whole, whole album. album. Yeah. And it works for like that one verse. And I mean, like these people have hundreds of millions of followers on Instagram, like those type of artists too. So like, you know, crossover usually don't work well in the long run. Which I have known for a lot of people. Like Wiz. Like like Wiz. That it seems to be working just fine to me. Where is Wiz? Ooh. He's always like, if there's a show or something, like, didn't he just perform at the fight the other night with uh, Mike Tyson? I know Snoop did. I don't know. I didn't see nothing pretty, on Twitter or Instagram I'm pretty sure about Wiz what performed sound? too. I don't know. Oh. I didn't watch it. But my <laughs> point is, movies, Wiz going to be on the soundtrack. 
Wiz is collecting a nice check. No. That damn Oreo or Cheerios <laughs> commercial. Not Oreos. The Cheerios commercial not comes on every night. But I'm talking about that as far as like crossover, like you being relevant in like Just the rap game. Just because black ass Ooh. ain't listening to him no more. Ooh. Don't mean. No, but I, at all of us here, I listen to Pop the most. That's and like true. do crossover appeal. Okay, That's when still, I would know. My point was... That what Wiz was is it? doing just fine. But I, you were trying to give me examples, so I'm I'm waiting. No, I'm talking Wiz. No, we talking about crossover appeal, which is great for your pocketbook. But in terms of you being like a Relevant rap, in the, the genre rap game that you were in is different. Relevancy, I think, is a really good topic that we can table for another time because. What's relevant to some folks ain't relevant to others. Like, so what is relevant? You don't have to give me a definition right now, but I'm just curious. That's why I said in the rap game. Yeah, he was very specific. Uh, You just got to the specificity. I said that 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 from the joke. Anywho. Yes. (laughs) Shoot. We'll continue. Grant from Whoville. Um, (laughs) So I'm talking like, as far as when Nicki Minaj went pop, people like start questioning her and like stop listening to her. She's still very relevant. I know, but people, when they say, like, oh, Nicki Minaj can't rap, she's not doing it for the people no more. It's like what I'm specifically talking about. Because, like, she crossed over and went pop. Because, mm-hmm. um, like, you can stay, like, relevant in a rap game, still be pop, break money while crossing over like that. That's fair. Like, with some of the people you, y'all like, like the J. Coles, the Kings of the Mars, <laughs> like, who didn't do <laughs> that, but that. very, like, relevant oh, in the rap saying, game. Don't wave you know what I'm my way. No, that's fair. But one thing I will say is, like, rap today, I don't feel like it was rap 20, 30 years ago. Oh, so, like, the not. category of rap and what they call rap a lot today is very is, pop. It's very... They all went pop, though. Rhythmic, yeah. R&B, however you call it. Yeah, like say everything. Country, they all went pop. All. So, but what I, I said that to say that, you know, like, the crossover, like, it's a very blurred line now. Because a lot of people categorize things that as being rap that But you can say rap. Kendrick and J. Cole aren't pop whatsoever or nipsey no they're not uh, but i'm saying there's a lot of these other younger artists who are like really kind of like doing emo rock and roll stuff and they'll call it rap and it's not rap it doesn't have any of the beats just because they're black i think when you're black you're getting r&b or hip-hop just like like, that's not rap Uh yeah like old country town road or whatever (laughs) automatic country town road all all automatic remain to rap i forgot what it's called i did too i had to get there Uh, (laughs) and it's old town road right oh yeah oh look (laughs) we figured it out so that's interesting last year was his year Mm -hmm. he just made a new song yeah i know but he's not like so i'm curious to see what 2021 brings for him but like he seems like he's kind of I'm thinking it, of him as one hit wonder at this point. Yeah, it's gonna be hard for him to top that. That shit took the world by storm. I just That's liked true. the song. You it wasn't that great it was, of it a was song. Very catchy, it was just though. very catchy. Yeah, like there's honestly there's no way he's gonna top that. Because he wasn't really like, rapping. You, you come it. out like that. No. That's hard to top. Mm-hmm. Who was it? And then you was in the country <laughs> genre and in the rap <laughs> genre. Like yes, it was very very the popular. two biggest yeah. genres. Right. Yeah. No, nah, he's not gonna top that. So that's what? he peaked on his first, like, and that's unfortunate. A lot of people peak at the first. Well, he peaked but there on his was first like song, twenty thousand different album. versions of that song featuring different people. Too. It was, yeah, that was his first song he peaked at, not the <laughs> album because the album wasn't that good. I even I forgot. I gave it a chance. Wait, so back with. to twenty twenty mm-hmm. music. What else was? Who else was popping this year? What other music was just like? Charting? I was like the little, like these little, like. Rappers popped the littles and the babies. The littles and the babies. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of them. There's a lot There's of, a them. of them, and I don't yeah, even know sweet. half their names. Right, but I think as we talk about hip hop as well, remember I shared the article with you guys from Pop Dust, Pop Crunch, whatever it's called. <laughs> Shout out to y'all, <laughs> Pop Dust. Um, when we were like talking about hip hop and like hip hop, kind of had a rough year. Yes. And speaking yeah. of, we can go in two different directions, like in the political realm. And also, like, a lot of the deaths we have seen with a lot of these hip-hop artists. Yeah. A lot of people died this year. Yeah. Yes, a lot of people. Let's go there, then. A lot of people in the hip-hop industry have been, like, taken away early due to, like, gun violence. Yes. Yeah. Um, so we have people who are, like, King Von, a Megan got shot. MO3. Pop Smoke died. That was Pop early Smoke. this year, right? Yeah. yeah. Why well, he even released a whole album before he passed. Um... It's very reminiscent of the 90s. Yes. Mm-hmm. Which is, Why it, do y'all think that is, though? Like, 
Because niggas is bored you think, in quarantine. Yeah, I so you want like, to shoot somebody? I mean, I've never been that bored. Well, first of all, them niggas was already a part of that game before they really got to the, the music game. <laughs> so that kind of that life just stuck with them, and like now with you popular and shit, people know your every move. So yes. now it's easier for niggas to get you. Mm-hmm. So now, that oh, part, you that nigga? Bet. Now I'm finna take down that nigga. That's all it is. That but, part, at, more with accessible. the social media yeah. and all that, yes, much more accessible. Yeah. And a lot of people are very jealous and Absolutely. want what you have. But they, people being jealous. Been, yeah, I know, mm. I know. But like now it's like they see, because I think in, in regards to like Pop Smoke, like he had posted something well, that had friend, an address. His posted the address in the bag. On Instagram, and then that same day, somebody came and killed him because the address was right there. So so easy to find. But, That's so sad. But then you got to think is, about it too. Are like, so young. If like, say I want to kill you, okay, you just same level as me. But now you become here. If I kill you, niggas gonna remember me forever. I don't remember who killed him. I mean, true. I don't know who killed people, people on but, the streets. But, That's but, I'm a, <laughs> but I'm gonna think that you know people what I'm saying. Way. Like, oh, I'm gonna kill this nigga. Niggas gonna know me. Niggas gonna know I took him out. Yeah. So they think about it like that. Oh. Because that's just, that's their But mindset. you know when you kill these people, make these people more popular. Like, yes. I right. wouldn't know who a good chunk of these people was if they didn't get killed. Yeah, but they, and they don't think about that when they're doing it. They just do it. True. I was like. I don't know what a killer think about. Because <laughs> I, I can't hurt a fly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think that has been tragedy. Like, what, like especially with Megan, who, you know, people, everyone knows who's Megan the stallion is mm-hmm. and her in this tour lanes debacle which is going on and like nothing has like pretty much come from it there have been like no arrest no anything which i find like yeah. weird and we all f- you know seen a lot of that but do we out. find it weird why because no one cares for the black woman yes look at what happened to brianna taylor we, i was gonna take it there but we talking about music so yeah i'm sorry to do that but <laughs> I just had to bring that up because you said I find it weird. I don't find it weird. The only po- thing where I find it weird is that it's also like a black man who no one really cares about. Mm-hmm. So like when we like weighing the options of like the police versus because you compare Megan Thee Stallion to Breonna Taylor versus no, I'm not comparing her to Breonna. Not Taylor. comparing, but like you drawing Using comparison. Them as benchmarks. Yeah, benchmark, and then Tory Lane to the police. Some of like protected classes of people. Black men aren't it's like a protected class. Well, no one think we don't care but about four lines that, that much. Yeah. No, we don't. But <laughs> I think the fact that people are men, black men, like they still benefit from the, the patriarchy. System. Yes. yes. Yeah. And so like it's the same reason why like some of these black women, they will get canceled faster than a black man. Like uh, Lil Wayne has showed his cards. Okay, okay, okay. hold on. Let's, we're going to get to the politics in a minute. Okay, but I'm just saying like Lil Wayne's, the Kanye's and all them, they're not canceled. By no means. We tried. Yeah. But we can only do so much. Okay, but what I'm saying is, a black woman do... Remember Chrisette Michelle? Yes. Where's Chrisette Michelle at, at right home. now? Exactly. She's saying at Donald Trump's inauguration... The awful thing is, you've got to be relevant... Okay, she, uh, she's yeah, not... I'm obviously, she's not on the she same wasn't. level as them, but she was just fine. But her ass got canceled, and that was it. But I mean, it was easy to cancel somebody who wasn't producing good content for you to follow anyway. Her music was good. I mean, it wasn't bad, but she didn't have a big fan base or whatever. But my point so to, still So stands. if you don't have a big fan base, and then you do some dumb shit like that, you compare like girl no, but Okay, but let's say you have 10 fans, right? And then you have 10 fans, and I have 10 fans. Mm-hmm. If I say some outlandish shit, I'm getting canceled before you would. Your 10 fans will probably still ride with you, you know, because, you know, he's a black man. We got to support that black man. I honestly, boop, boop, boop. I don't know if we're talking about the Tory Lanez and Meg thing. I, from, I see and hear way more people on Meg's side than Tory Lanez. I hear mixed. I hear more people on. Because people be like, I don't believe her. Like, a lot of people, in a, especially black women. It's always a black woman. Not always believing black women. her. Okay, Women are the. It ain't no always black women, but is. I see black women, women black men. Women go against women more than anybody. No, I agree, and that's another topic. But I see a mix of folks not. But also, Megan didn't press charges either. She didn't. She didn't. But I, I can also kind Which of understand raises that. Raises an eyebrow. No, the thing is, like, if you imagine you have a relationship with someone, you at the end of the day, a lot of times when somebody you does, shot me. That's people get their asses beat. That's by different their than being shot. It, 
you're You know what it takes to shoot somebody, Lord? Cameron. Left and people, right. I'm like, people shoot people over all kind of shit. You stepped on my J's, I'm shooting you. But, okay. Could you shoot someone? No. But, but you could punch somebody in the eye real easy. Not real easy. Err. Right. <laughs> I don't own a gun. <laughs> but also, I think it also stems from the fact that, like, black women want to, wanting to protect black yes. men. Um, so I think it's twofold. It's like us not holding like black men accountable, but also women, the black woman themselves tearing down black women. Also, then don't hold the black men accountable either. Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. So it's like so the whole group of black people need to get together. Yes, I think in uh, general we want to see black another people. Another thing win. we kind of got to think about too is like it's not as serious, and y'all might think it's funny, but Tory Lanez is like four eleven, and she like six foot. She would have squashed him like a bug. If I was his size, I'd probably have to shoot her big ass too. No. What? I'm not going toes with her. She wasn't. They this was nigga fighting. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, like it's hell. like they're in a car. I think everyone has the right to like. She had knock his little ass out. But it doesn't sound like from the stories, I, any of the stories that have been told, that he needed to defend his little self. Right. I, I mean, I I agree with that too. But I'm thinking about it like. But if somebody's trying to on beat one, you down and. <laughs> Yeah, that's different. Like, that wasn't the story. Yeah. Right. Okay. Back to the music. Okay. <laughs> yeah, back to, to the music and the musicians and politics, which we have <sighs> talked about. You brought up Lil Wayne, who, what do you do, Born? I can have, like, a whole, a whole segment on this. I like, know. You got eight episode. minutes for the segment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you talk about him and Lil Pimp. Yes. So, basically, both artists came out and endorsed Donald Trump at the very end, like, very close to election day. Mm-hmm. Came out endorsing him. Lil Wayne supposedly had, not supposedly, but he met with him. And I don't know who else was involved in this discussion. And was like, oh yeah, this the president's platinum plan is really going to do something for our people. Blah, blah, blah. And just basically threw his support behind him. Um, I don't know specifics, but I've heard it's very just surface level. And it's not much to it. Okay. Um, but anywho. That's Lil what Wayne. happened. Yes, and then he dropped No Ceilings 3, and I heard it was fire. Uh, no, I didn't listen, but... I didn't either. I did a little bit. Dustin told me he would lis- He was listening, and then he got to one song or something. He said some. I guess he like took a Drake line from... What's that one song? I forget how the, what the song is, but he said something about, I haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Mm-hmm. He says uh, I, something about, I haven't done my taxes, or I don't want to do my taxes, uh, I'm for Donald Trump or something. That stuff like that really, really pisses me off. And because that goes back to the realizing the platform and influence you have as a black artist and what you do to your people. Yes. I remember you saying that a few episodes back. That irks me. It's I find it disgusting. What's disgusting about it? <laughs> What's disgusting about it is because there's a lot of just working class Americans in this country who are struggling to get by, and they can't just be like, "I'm not paying my taxes." One, two. How do we get, like, our roads, everything, like, nothing gets done without tax dollars, right? And I also feel like my tax dollars, whatever I contribute in taxes, it's pennies compared to what you would be, con- what you would be contributing, mm-hmm. being, bringing in millions of dollars. Right. And that, it's just like a big fuck you to, excuse my language, <laughs> but to your community and the people who support you, you know what I mean? And yeah, but also, he's well, that's how Republicans to, are. He's entitled to the way he feels and who he represents, you know what I'm saying? Like, just because he black don't mean he got a stand for I don't care if you black, do. white, Asian, Hispanic, I don't care who you are. If you living in this country, and you're, I just feel like people need to be productive citizens, and that's not being a productive citizen, just being like, me, me, me. That's a lot of the issues I have with a lot of people in this country. Very individualistic. But it's not at the end of the day. That's our power country. I know. And so that's why I say it's disgusting. I don't like to see people be greedy, selfish. You can move to another country. Okay, and that's bull too. Because my thing is, I would like to see the ideals that we kind of like throw out there. I would like to see those be realized. And so We all too. It takes work and it takes confronting people and not letting them just like fly by with their BS. Yeah, I hear you. Well, you know, with it BS like on both ends, I'd be like straight off the music topic. Oh, um, <laughs> um, because like people are like, oh, I pay taxes, and then like people out here get all like 
this EDD money and stuff like that. Yes. Different people benefit from different things off like my tax dollar. Yes. So I don't want to pay taxes. Also, I don't even know where the taxes are going. I don't see That's fair. a lot of that. So it's, it's a whole bunch of different because sides. Our road's been trashed for years. And we, yes. and we vote for every, every every four year. years about new roles and shit. And we ain't seen nothing. Pot, same pothole. Actually, more potholes. <laughs> right. So, but, but where else would the money come from? You know what I yes, mean? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. I digress. It's just, it's just corruption in a various different points. But you can, I, can, I can see how someone like Lil Wayne has got into the place he has been from someone who has money ever since, who has been detached from us for yes. since he was 15 so years old. Yes. So, it, like, Lil Wayne. His struggles are different. Yeah, he got mental health and other health issues. And hair issues, because them dreads is hanging on by a thread, literally. They really are. Oh. And yes. the teeth, too. Mm-hmm. But I digress. Yes, I'm like, let's not chop them down. <laughs> too late. Um, <laughs> 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 and also, like, Kanye West, who's a tad bit different. He really hurts my soul, too. Who's, who also, who's also, I would say, more intelligent. And articulate than him, than Lil Wayne. Yeah, I, yeah. Okay, that. fine. Uh-huh. He's more articulate. I don't know if he's more intelligent. I don't really don't know. I mean, based off of what you see and hear, them yeah, say, Lil Wayne. Yes, yes, yeah, Lil Wayne. I know. I know. I just don't wanna... yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. You can, yes. you can infer that. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I can make that assumption. Yeah. Okay. Um, but who uses his intelligence differently? Quite differently. Um. Who has shown his Yeah, what ass. a year he's had. Right. And he's been like, he's been quiet did lately. He, I don't think he dropped no music this year. When did that one he's little song this, come um, out? Choir. Oh, I guess that was last year. Yeah, he's been doing. He did church? What's that called? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. What's the little Kanye thing called? So, uh, Circle something. No, I don't know. No, clearly, it's not working. Because <laughs> we forgot all about Sunday all service. About Mm. Oh, not the simple Sunday service. That's what they call it, isn't it? I know we forgot the I name. I know. I'm like, I'm like what a I know Sunday service. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I, I be seeing little videos of that, that or whatever. Um, he been dropping off big, weird trucks to people's houses. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I think like as far as like, cause I'm pretty sure there's a lot more music artists who thinks like them. Probably. Yes. Who don't say who nothing. Who just don't say nothing about it. Yeah. Because they don't want to get canceled. Yeah, it's yeah, to their benefit not to say anything. Yeah, um, but, but it, also they don't like they're not entitled to, or they don't have to say anything. They don't, they don't, they don't, honestly, they don't give a fuck about us. I think some they do. I wouldn't say. Yeah, I think some do. I think some of them do. I'm not gonna say all of them don't. Of course, some of them do. Mm-hmm. But the ones that feel like that and know if they say some shit like that, they're gonna get canceled. I don't owe y'all shit, so I'm not gonna say how I feel just for you to bash me and then. Cut my paychecks. No, fuck that. No, I don't think you have to say anything at yeah. all. I don't think you have to. But back to the point, like where we like support your income. Yeah. At a certain point, like you want to support things that you also agree with. If within like your moral compass. Yes. Like other com- like when we like oh like companies like Walmart and shit doing crazy shit exactly. out here. Like you don't want to like support. Them. That's why we like support black businesses because you know we want to like. Same moral compass, our morals and values are alive. And that money is going back into your community, too. Like, you want to put your money towards something that you feel is going to be beneficial. Yeah. Right. And the same thing, like, with with your music art, you want to, like, support the ones who have your same moral compass. That's why people get canceled. I mean, yes and no. I really, if you got good music, I'm going to listen to it. I I really, I mean, I understand the whole moral compass shit, but I... It doesn't affect my day to day life. So it, if you make good music and I can listen to it and rock with it, then like I can get my day going off of it. Sure, absolutely. You say that, but I, I think there R are Kelly, ways where you, you don't your mind. think. I was never really a big R. Kelly fan from the jump, though. Like, oh yeah, I believe I can fly. Well, shit, okay, and we so all we're graduated back to, to it. So. Cancel culture, which I think we can continue <laughs> that conversation. But with that, I think we we did a good job covering the year. 2020. Yeah, 2020 music. 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 Yeah. Yeah. You know, Megan wins, Megan and Little Baby. If there's some songs that y'all thought were like really good, drop those in the comments. Yeah. Ariana Grande did her thing too. I like that one yeah. little song where she dressed up like she was Miss Pre- Madam President. Oh, that yes. So cute. It took me a minute um, to understand what 34, 35 was. But yeah. anywho, 69. make sure you <laughs> like, subscri- like, subscribe, click that link. I click that. Done this